Okay, I've just been sitting here getting ready for a set on internet radio, liveforvibes.com, and uh, I thought I'd uh, kill two birds with one stone because a lot of people are still getting confused with um, setting cue points on Tractor Pro. Um, so let's go through a couple of things. Um, how to set a cue point? You can set about 30 or it might be 32 cue points in Tractor if you want to. Um, so how do you set a cue point? Okay, pretty basic. Uh, these are the advanced options down here. Click that little arrow and um, you get a little drop down box down there. Now, okay, let's go through this. Once you've loaded your track, um, it basically has a first cue point, number one, which is the auto grid. What's your grid? Your grid are those white lines. That's where your beats are. Okay, that's the grid. So if I click number one down here, it'll get me, it's like a hotkey. So while you can set up to 32 cue points in this track, they only give you eight hotkey buttons. So that's what I use. I'm only going to use about eight. So number one is the auto grid. Now the, did you notice when I load this thing, it doesn't load up to the beat. All right. Now we can fix that. See, have a look again. I'll load it. Bang, it's not right there. So how do I fix that? Okay, let's load our first cue point. So find the start. Right there. Now, how do I make that a cue point? Not those buttons, not those, but over here. See that? In. Click in. Right. There's your triangle. That's your first cue point. Now, it's not permanent until you store it. So come over here. See where it says store? Click that button. Bang. It's now stored. It is now permanent. And you'll see down here it's automatically highlighted number two hotkey down here. Now come over here, click the drop down box, see there it's got Q, click the drop down box and it's got all the different Q types that you can load. Now we'll go through all these, not today, but we will go through all these eventually. Now what sort of a Q point is it? Uh, is it a fade in Q, fade out? Is it a load? Is it a grid? Is it a loop? No, it's going to be a load. So click load Let's change to orange. Okay, now, watch what happens when I load the song in again. Bang, it automatically loads up exactly where I want it. Okay, now, let's do another one. Now, the first half of this, or the first 30 seconds of this song is not much, okay? So if you want to start your song where it really kicks in about here, okay, you found the start of the beat. How do I set the cue? In, there's your triangle. It's not permanent. Click store, it's now stored. And there it is. Automatically set in number three. Now, what sort of a cue point is it? Well, it's just going to be a normal cue point. Now, you can name that cue point. Uh, if you double click down here, okay, it's highlighted, and you can name it now. Um, just name it, maybe start. Okay, so that is now named. Number one is the auto grid, number two just happens to be the same. Load. That's where it's going to load. And number three is, well, call it an optional start. You know, most of the time you'll start your tracks there, but if you don't want a 30 second nothing, once you've loaded your track, click number three and it'll then you know the song will start there. All right? So there's another cue point. Now, what other cue points do we want to include? What about the start of a break. Is that important? Yep. 
I want to know where the brakes are. So, found where I want it. Hit the in button, triangle appears. Store it. Bang, stored. There it is, number four. Now, do we want to name it? Yes, we do. So you're on number four. Double click. It's highlighted. What do we name that? That's a brake. Click. So now you know, um, as this comes around, you know, shit, number four, that's where the brake starts. All right? It's just a point of reference, really. That's all it is. It's just a point of reference. So what else do you want to know? What about where the vocals start? Do you want to know where the vocals start? That's pretty important. Yes. Is that it? Let's drop one in there and see what happens. In store number five. Yes, sweet. Then call. Yep. Yes, sweet. Yes, sweet. Yes, sweet. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so that's now stored. Double click. It's highlighted. We call that vocal. Yes, sweet. Then call. So now you know. It's going to load there. That's your optional start. See the name change? Number four, that's where the break is. Number five yes. is where the vocal starts. Vocal. Yes, sweet. Then cold, you don't know. So, what else yes, do you want to know? Then cold, you what about the end of a break? Okay. In. There it is there. Not permanent until you go store. So number six, double click, what do we call that? End of break. That'll do. So now you know number six is the end of a break. Now you can do that, like I say, 32 times in this track if you want. Pick out all the important bits of the track so you know. Now, we have a little drop down menu here which tells you all the cue points you've loaded in here. So you know what's number three again? There it is, number three start. What's number four again? Ah, oh, that's where the break is. Five is where the vocal starts. Ah, oh, that's the end of the break, right? So you know what you've done. Okay, pretty basic. Now, another thing I like to do is come down the end and find where the song dies. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's where the song dies. So I want to set a cue point there in store. Yep. It's pretty good. So number seven, what do I want to call that? I usually just call it dead because, well, that's where the song dies and you basically want to be out of the mix by the time this comes in because if you're in a venue, you don't want this going over the speakers, just nothing, okay? So you pretty much want to be out of the mix by there. You can call it whatever you like. You can call it, you know, mix out, whatever, dead mix, whatever. So that's pretty much what I use it for. I might find another break in here, in and out, but I've only got one other hotkey, okay? So, um, like I say, you can set up to 32 cue points, but you've only got eight hotkeys for them, so, you know, my opinion is just uh, use the eight. Um, now, another cool feature is, this is what I do when I'm building a set. Now I know that's where the song dies. So now I want to find what song I'm going to play next. Uh, so just hang on a sec. <laughs> 